Hi, today in this video, you will learn how to implement interstitial ads in Android. So let's get started. First, we create our project. So here we select empty activity, click on next, name of your application. Here I'm selecting language Java and click on finish. So after creating project, our next step is to get the app ID and add unit ID. So for this, we have to open our browser and here search for add move. Click on sign in add move. Sign in your add move account with your Gmail ID. I already signed in. Now click on apps. Click on add app. Here we select android as a platform and here i'm selecting no if your app is listed in any app store then click yes now click on continue name of your app and then click on add app and now click on done now click on add unit here we click on the special and name of your unit can see this is our app id and this one is our add unit id copy these ids here you can see our app id and add unit id is created successfully now go back to our android studio now open build.gradle app level and here we add required dependencies now click on sync now provide this dependency in description box you can take it from there now open manifest file and here we add internet permission then we add application id inside the application tag with the help of metadata tag Here set the hardware accelerated true to show the videos in your ads. Now open mainactivity.java and here inside on create method we initialize mobile SDK. And here we simply Display a toast message. Now create add request. This ad request contains targeting information which is used to fetch an ad and ad request are create using builder. Then we load the ad. Now we initialize interstitial ad. Then set ad unit ID. Here we pass our ad unit ID that we have created in AdMob account. Now we load the ad and here I'm using load add method to load the ad. So inside this load add method, we pass add request. Now after load the ad, we will show ads. So for this here we use add listener. Inside this, we create one overwrite method on add loaded. And inside this method, we show our ad. I'm using show function to show the ads. Now run the project. So here you can see the output. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.